Why don't we move on to your Christmas dinner with Pat from Monaki? Yes. Monarchy. Pat from Monaki. Well, uh, I don't know. What was it? Thanksgiving, I guess? Uh, good morning, Pat, by the way. He's on the line. Hey, here. Pat. How are you? Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, guys. We uh, we had Pat in around Thanksgiving at some point, and uh, we, we asked him what he was going to be doing for Thanksgiving, and his answer was Boston Market uh, and uh, his chair at home in front of the television. That was it. That got us into talking about his family, why he wasn't mm. spending Thanksgiving with his family. Uh, he has no family. His mother uh, seems to have died right after he graduated from high school. His father left the family uh, when he was about six months old. Uh, tragic story. Not much of a family. He uh, has Thanks a sister. <laughs> yeah, he has a sister and a brother-in-law uh, who seem to have disowned him because of something. Uh, the sister still keeps in touch, but the brother-in-law is trying to keep the sister from having any contact with him. It's very, uh, I don't know, there's something going Some on. Some misunderstanding there. surrounding a crib. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's something awful that uh, he hasn't uh, talked about. So hearing this, I just decided uh, my family does something on Christmas Eve. That's the big day. Christmas Day, we usually would just wind up sitting around the house doing nothing. Yeah. So I figured, let's get Pat from Munaki. Me and my girlfriend, we get Pat from Munaki. Go out to a restaurant and just uh, have a Christmas dinner with Pat. Um, and a couple of other people found out because, you know, we mentioned this on the air. And uh, either by inviting themselves or through invitations through third and fourth parties, uh, other people turned up. There was supposed to be 30 people at this event. Uh, 17 or so showed up. So last night, uh, or, or was it the night before last um, what, do you invite sure. my father? It's like Sunday. Yeah, Sunday night, Christmas. Uh, we went to, uh, what was the name of the place? Provence. Provence. It's Frenchie's Brothers Restaurant. Frenchie was in California. He couldn't make it, but he had had a huge fight with his brother about something. I, I just pictured two French chefs throwing cookware at each other. Because uh, that uh, seems to be what the fight was all about. There was, there was a fight, and since they're both French, they both ran away. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh. And I wish I had this with me for that dinner. Uh, we I went imagine. To. So there were a lot of uh, message board people that were there. Uh, some of my family showed up. My sister and Patrick showed up. Little Jimmy Norton was there. And uh, Pat and uh, some uh, listeners, fans of the show. They were all there. Uh, Pat, pretty much center of the table, sitting there like it was a big dais. Uh, everyone <laughs> gathered around. Our own uh, Than was there. Danny showed up. Travis was there. Uh, and uh, we all had uh, dinner. Big A. Big A. Big A was there. Yes. Here's what I had to do. Holy shit. Here's what I had to do. Yeah, Christmas oh with Big God. A. Well, he doesn't. He he shows up everywhere. If there is something going on, he will be there. He he looks like the Borg with that fucking digital camera attached to him all the time. Dude, pictures <laughs> just <laughs> snapping away <laughs> like crazy. They wouldn't stop with the goddamn pictures. And Bam, Bam was there with his fucking awful no wrinkle slacks. <laughs> those slacks, throw those out. They're awful. <laughs> Those fucking docker, no wrinkle slacks, I almost couldn't eat. Really? It was that uh, disgusting. Yeah, I was just watching him walk away with his fucking awful <laughs> ass cheeks and those no wrinkling pants, and they were bringing out rage. I know they don't. Uh, the restaurant uh, doesn't have a satellite radio. Um, so I would just say uh, the, the service uh, was, was, was Even awful. if they did have satellite radio, the service sucked my dick. The food was decent, and you didn't give a discount. Eat shit. Yeah. Wait, you said a nice rack, no. 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 Stop going to Frenchie's Never restaurant. Never a discount between Frenchie and Frenchie's Fucking brother. Fucking Frenchie is They don't restaurant. go for shit. When someone goes, I own a restaurant, and I want want you to come by and say yeah. hi, you would think. Of course. And it's not about, you know, yeah, we make good money, but you still want to feel like you're a little special. Eh, so little you go special. to Frenchie's restaurant, you think, all right, maybe he's going to give me a free dessert, a free hors d'oeuvre, a free appetizer, maybe a, fr maybe a drink on the house. You're bringing about 20 people in there. You know, you the figure out. Uh, and I'm not the only one nothing. that has brought this up. Jay Moore has said it, and I think Anthony and other people, he doesn't give shit. Nothing. We had to get people. Uh, we had uh, some champagne and some uh, wine for the table and everything. And people were getting up 
to go to where the wine was and pouring it themselves because the, they had one server for our entire 20 person for the uh, whole party. area, dude. For the, for the whole, whole area. All the tables yeah. back there, they yeah. had one. One person. And uh, she was not very attentive. So, uh, she had a nice ass, but she was dumb. Yeah. When you go Thank to my you. brother's restaurant, you're going to get some free shit. That's where we'll go for the next one. That's oh, I forgot there will not be in there. Well, and Paisano's always says, oh. come by. He hooks you up at least well, with a Paisano, discount. Paisano, yeah. Joey always takes care of the Opie and Anthony fans with yes. just a something, a little something, something. A little something. Paisano's for New Year's? Just for the, a sign of appreciation. Thank you for supporting us. We support the show. No. A little something. Nothing Pat. from that shithead. Nothing. Pat, we got an idea for you for New Year's, actually. Could you go to Jimmy's show? Oh, in uh, uh, Philadelphia? Yeah. Uh, uh, stop uh, thinking uh, like you might have plans. Oh, stop. Okay, I'm free. <laughs> we'll try to figure something out, but we got no, an idea have for no you. no plans. For yeah. The, oh, all right. For the big New Year's uh, show with Jimmy down at the Tower Theater in Philly. Ooh. So we get there early. <laughs> me me, and uh, my girlfriend get there early uh, so we can pick, strategically pick out a seat. It's hilarious. Because I don't want to get stuck by some chatty Kathy who's just not going to shut up the whole time. Now, I didn't know exactly who was coming. There are some message board people there that are fine, that I enjoy sitting and talking to, that are uh, fine and dandy. Stingray? Uh, Stingray is a great guy. I love sitting there chatting with Stingray. He's a good guy. Uh, there are some people, though, a little chatty. Big A did not want to be near Big A. Why? I got no problem with Big A. He's a good guy. He's a creep. Uh, he's as they say, at. a sweetheart. But he's, he's creepy to look he at. came in and... <laughs> All of a sudden, I was just smelling mothballs. The guy's breath is horrific. <laughs> it is horrific. So I, I took a seat at the end of the table and then reserved seats around it, saying that my family was coming and little Jimmy's coming and everybody's sitting in this area, so find yourself a seat. And then I waved, like, down to the other end of the table, and Big A was way at the other end. I got to step in. I walk in, and there's still some people there. I see Ant, I see his chick, I see a bunch of fucking chairs that I know have been saved. Because, like, the purse is on this one, there's a jacket on oh, that yeah. one. Candy, jacket, like yeah. things, a rock, just yeah. anything I could find. It's <laughs> yeah, all Anthony's stuff, right? To yeah, put uh, right on out. various seats, just because I want to make sure some guy that's going to be yapping to me the whole fucking night about the show isn't going to be sitting right next Jimmy, to Jimmy, you're sitting here. It was so nice, I was worried. I was like, I have a seat. Ant had a seat saved for me. Right. Nice. Jimmy was right there. Right there in talking distance. And uh, being the guest of honor, I was honored to have Pat from Unaki sitting uh, right to my left. Sure. Uh, Look at you. There. And uh, Pat made his big entrance, and it was very nice. He had flowers, bouquets of roses for all the ladies that were there. Ugh. Uh, he gave them <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jesus. Gave them some flowers. How, how awkward was that? was the that? first time I ever bought flowers yeah. in my life. It was the first time he ever bought flowers in his life. Yeah. Sat down and just proceeded to tell car crash joke after car <laughs> crash gag. That's a good time to buy flowers for the first time. Give it to a bunch of chicks who are there with their boyfriends. Yeah. 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 Pat, you got to think. Not one free girl there. Yeah. Uh. And, uh... So so we, we, we <laughs> ate, and like we said, the service just... Three you know. hours we were there. Fucking three hours. Yeah. Three hours we were there. Sheds. Um, the dessert was very good, though. I yeah. had the chocolate cake. I had the log. Uh, and then it was... Yeah, he got the log and had to take log? a picture of it with it on his chest. <laughs> what is the log? I, I just... The Christmas log she it was made. The Christmas log. And, and I had to say, look, can I have one of your logs? And of course she didn't get it because she was fucking French and she had... You know her hair looked like fucking Madeline Kahn and Young Frankenstein. Yeah. <laughs> I really wanted to just, just wanted to give her a good sodomizing. <laughs> so, uh, well, uh, uh, the night's over. Um, the, uh, uh, yeah, the, the check comes. It's taken care of. We go to leave. Thank you, by the way, Anthony. Very generous. Oh, Jimmy, very, not. Very generous. Don't even. Aww. Don't even. My Christmas present to you. It was lovely. And, yours. and thank you to Frenchie for the discount. Yes. Thank nothing. you to Frenchie and his awful brother for nothing. But at least you got bad service. At least you got at that. At least we got that. Provence. Provence. Oh. Yeah. Enough with Frenchie and his stupid yeah, restaurant. It's fucking awful. French for three hour dinner. Oddly enough, Horrid. the French restaurant didn't have chicken. <laughs> they had uh, baby chicken. <laughs> That's I got pretty that. Funny. <laughs> That is fine. Hey, all right. Cordon bleu. To him. Well, we're ready to leave. So we uh, we all walk out, have a little chit-chat on the sidewalk, 
And um, I'm looking, kind of looking at the guys, Than and Danny and Travis, and thinking, uh, I kind of want to go out. Kind of want to go out and, and uh, hang out at a bar. But there are some people uh, I don't want there with. With us. Yeah, that's that, that uncomfortable pause where you wait for the fans to leave. Not that it's a bad thing. Again, I did, right. I enjoyed the company of everybody that was there. But I just over. wanted to spend a little time with the guys from the show. Not talking about the show, just hanging out. Uh, right. I never really hang out with these guys. Can I ask, when you, when you mentioned it to them, how eager were they to go out? Like when you said... Uh, so, uh, Travis, uh, Than, and Danny, do you want to go? Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, we're around. So, no, I don't know if you guys have any plans. No, no, no plans. I'm around. Yeah, let's go out. Let's go out. Okay. They actually brought it up. They actually brought it up. But now we're seeing that some people are hanging around. <clears throat> like who? Uh, I just dug up a few people that were there at the uh, at dinner. <clears throat> hanging around a little bit. What they look so like? We, uh, listeners. Fans. <laughs> Listeners, fans of the show. So I just decided I was going to, you know, go to my truck. Everybody was going to faux leave until everybody was gone. And that happened. We re-hooked up. Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to – I'm making sure they, they're taping the Progeria story. Oh, Progeria kid. One of our favorite yes. things oh, to do on wow. the show. Hey, I, 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 I didn't mean to interrupt, but I want to make sure – are you recording? Okay, so Can they get those kids half Sorry. with smaller bills on them? Cause they got that big build. Oh, a God. brave boys battle, oh, old oh. before his time. Sorry, oh, Anthony. Kid, I really apologize. That's fine. Progeria kid, how could you not? You gotta mention it. Uh, well, uh, everyone leaves. Uh, we're ready to start walking away, and uh, we just start hearing this. Uh oh. <laughs> no way. A perfect ending to Christmas. And and there it is. The Munaki van, the Pat from Munaki van, just kind of uh, rocking as it's trying to start. Which also doubles. <laughs> no, that was me moving around. Which also okay. doubles as our promotional vehicle, yeah. by the way, because XM still hasn't sent a vehicle up to New York he for us. He has zip screwed more signage to uh, the back of it, yeah. and it's just. Uh, and there it is going. Click, click, click. Chick, 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 the clicking. Uh. So now, here we are. We want to go out. Me, the guys from the show, we want to hit a bar. And Pat is uh, there in his van with a dead battery. What do you do? Can I have a suggestion? All right. Let me see what your suggestion is. You stick up your middle finger and say, I'd call AAA if I were you, fat boy, and you head to the bar. Jimmy, (laughs) we did exactly (laughs) that. We did exactly that. He showed us a triple A card that he pulled out of his wallet. He goes, "Well, I got this. That's all he had to do." All right. Good luck, Pat. Goodbye. Good luck. Goodbye. We walked. We went to good a bar luck, down the street. Uh, played some foosball for the first time in quite a while. I gotta say, uh, Danny has some foosball skills. Very good. He's got some skills. Than has potential. Dan has some potential. Who was the problem? He picked up Travis Stinks. Stinks. Just spinning him? Oh, just trying to keep from spinning him. And you could just blow a shot right past him. Uh, horrid. Little wispy arms. One of the worst foosball players ever. But we all had fun. Dan was uh, very good. He's got some uh, skills and, and a lot of potential. Blocking some shots. And Danny's pretty good. Uh, well, a couple hours later, uh, we're hanging out at the bar. And, and uh, it, it was like last call at 2 in the morning. I felt like I was in fucking Boston. It's New York City, for God's sake. Keep the bar open. We weren't ready to, uh, ready to leave. But uh, the, the lights come on. The bouncers are like, all right, wrap it up. It's time to leave. Fuck. So walking back to our vehicles. And uh, what do we see off in the distance? The Munaki van. <laughs> <laughs> this is now three hours later. <laughs> three hours we're hanging out at the bar, and uh, there's the Munaki van just sitting there. We uh, slowly walk up to the window and see 
a certain shaved fat head leaning against the window. What part of you thought he dropped dead Christmas Day? Uh, I was thinking was perhaps. frozen in his van. <laughs> but uh, we, we knock on the window, and, uh, of course, he's got to be in good spirits, even though he's miserable. The first thing, it's not like, what, what? It's like, hey, hey, guys. Hey. Always happy and fun. Laughing on the outside, weeping on the inside. On the inside saying, fuck AAA. Yeah, uh, his little van hood is up, uh, and uh, no one was there to help him. What happened, Pat? Did you call AAA? Uh, yeah, I called AAA, and uh, apparently they have a new policy of they don't uh, deal with uh, commercial vehicles. They used to say uh, the person's insured, not the vehicle, but evidently if I called five minutes before, they would have been able to help me. Really? Not really, I was exaggerating, but... Yeah. They just have a new policy of uh, commercial vehicles. Once they found out it was a commercial vehicle, they said, uh, basically, uh, fuck you. They Why? have a new policy that Pat from Munaki doesn't have AAA. This just in, I have video on my phone of Pat walking to his dead van as we leave to go to the bar to have a good time. Yeah. Uh, Danny has video, and we're going to get it up on the website. Uh, i got to try. i got to figure out what format my uh, phone records in, but if I can get it off and get it okay. up online, I absolutely will do that. Very yeah, good. it's hysterical. He just was slowly doing the... Uh... Is there video and pictures of your night with the fans? Uh, yeah, with, uh, well, with all the cameras going off, I'm sure they're, they're, uh, there's pictures somewhere. Okay. Bastards. And then... Uh, we come up and and Than, quick thinking on his feet, uh, flags down a cab, and uh, had uh, the cab driver had jumper cables and gave uh, him a jump. Oh, and, nice guy. Uh, and, uh, yeah, for twenty bucks. Had to force it on him. Why didn't he, he actually, do that like three hours, you know, before? That? Yeah, and that's what we were thinking. Why the fuck didn't you take uh, some initiative? Well, I was out on uh, Houston Street. Uh, trying to wave down, trying to wait for like a tow truck or something that I know would have uh, cables. And did nine said, of them pass by? <laughs> <laughs> wait, Pat, did now? Well, how'd they know it was a commercial vehicle? Why didn't you just lie? Uh, because they helped me before, and that wasn't a problem. So I, they, the conversation starts steering towards, is it used for commercial purposes? And I'm like, uh, 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 well, it's a commercial vehicle. You say no, you idiot. But it wasn't a problem before. They they towed it from uh, South Jersey when I went to my w was trying to go to my wing contest. You just needed a jump. Yeah, and I know. For some reason, you you decided to fall asleep in your van. You're the kind of guy that I swear, if if you your car got stuck in a blizzard, they would just find you dead, frozen in it. <laughs> you wouldn't even try to do anything. I didn't want to inconvenience anybody. <laughs> and that's him. <laughs> Oh, well, what's three hours on Christmas? I was going to wait till morning and call my friend after he had a good night's sleep. Pat, what were you doing in the van for those three hours? For three hours. While everyone else was in the... No, I wasn't listening to anything. No, just jeep, 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 jeep. You didn't fall right to sleep, did yeah, you? so what were you doing? Your mind had to be working. What were you thinking about? Were any hopes and dreams in that head? I was thinking about how this balanced out a lovely uh, evening. <laughs> It was a lovely evening and, and bad stuff, like usual, my life. My Just an awful, awful life this guy leads. All right. Anything else to add there? And no, that was that was pretty much it. He got the jump. Everyone left. It was um. It was the first time in a in years I drove home with a pretty good buzz. Felt good to drive out drunk again. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. I mean, as much as I love Pat, I got to say, it's a funnier story if he died in the van. Yeah, yeah. And I like Pat very year, much. You could do that. Like Michael J. Pollard and Screwed. I was, thinking more of, I was thinking more of Bon Scott. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Choking on my own puke or something. <laughs> All right, Pat. You had a good Christmas, though? Oh, it was fabulous. I'd like to thank Anthony, his girlfriend, and oh, Anthony's wonderful. sister. She's a sweetie. Did and his, her. Yes, Dawn and Patrick were there. Yeah. And did you get a, uh, any good gifts there? And, Oh, yeah, they gave me a, uh, a framed picture of uh, Dawn and her boyfriend, Patrick, in my new family. Yeah, see, the, the, the gag gift, I guess, for Pat was to give him a picture in a frame so he can put gag? it in his house so he could look at family photos, even though they're not his family. I'm not going on Grandma's boat next year? 
<laughs> He's got nobody. What what are your plans for New Year's Eve? Are you going to to Philly? Uh, I I guess now. I wasn't gonna. I'm kind of broke, so I, I've been trying to lay low. I don't want to be pat from the streets of Monaki. He doesn't have oh, a couple what? months behind in rent and stuff. Uh, don't you live in a trailer? Yes, I do. You rent it? Uh. Well, the the space there's a there's a pad fee I believe they call that a pad fee. What could a pad fee for a trailer possibly cost? It's like uh, it comes up to like seven hundred a month. Are you shitting me? Seven hundred a month for a slab of concrete? Well, plus water and and heat and and the stuff for the stove. I have propane for stove and oh, so it's seven hundred covers everything. Are we gonna have to have a fundraiser soon? No. What type of trailer (laughs) is it? Is it a one of those? Does it? Can you it's hook it right up? A 1970 buddy trailer. A 1970 exactly. buddy. Yeah, that's what it's called. And does it have wheels? Uh, yeah, but I I wouldn't try and roll it anywhere. No, is, is it is it? Because I know there are two types of trailers. There's the the square type, the rectangular type that people live in, almost like a house. Yeah. Then there's the ones that are pretty much just meant to hook up behind a pickup truck. Or oh, no, something. Yeah, this, this is like a permanent uh, thing here. It's like 30 feet long, about uh, 12 feet wide. All right. It's a 12-foot like, wide, 30-footer. Right. All right. Yeah. Well, all right. we might five have to do a fundraiser. Jeez. Yes, five pad a shotgun. <sighs> well, I'd love to drive around in an Opie and Anthony van promoting the show all day, have my career. That would be great. Yeah, that, that would, would be great be for everybody. How much yeah. would a new trailer cost? Oh, I don't know. No, if you got a new one, the new ones are like houses these days. They got like vaulted ceilings and everything. They're like fifty thousand bucks. Yeah, they're like about fifty G's. Yeah, they really figured out how to make you those things nice. You could get a. Does yours leak? Oh yeah, I, I got a hole in the floor from when my foot fell through. Cause yeah. I had a water leak that I came home one day and it was just like the the floor was all. Wait, uh, wait, wait a locked. minute. You 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 have a you step through your house. <laughs> Yeah, my my foot went all the way to the ground. It's like it's like three feet off the ground, and I got a real big bruise on my thigh because my one leg like crunched up underneath me, and the other foot went straight down to the ground. Now, what did you do with this hole in the floor? Uh, I covered it with a piece of metal. What, was it a rust? Uh, did it rust? Is that what it was? No, 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 no. It's like subflooring. But it got wet, and then it, it got weak, and I it rotted. So your so your ceiling yeah. leaks. Uh, no, in... no, not not the ceiling. No, I had like a pipe burst. In like oh, the okay. And since the trailer isn't level, all the water went to one side. Now what so do you like do? One of Batman's arch enemies uh, pads, where it's all on an angle. <laughs> what do you do in the winter? Don't your pipes freeze? Uh yes. As a matter of fact, uh, they do. Yeah, everyone that I know that owns a trailer, wide. their pipes freeze. Uh, because there's supposed to be some kind of skirting underneath and some heat maybe under there. Yeah, I have, like, trestle where there's, like, holes in it. Yeah, so the wind blows through, your pipes freeze. So what, you go the winter without water? No, what I do is I try and keep the the uh, faucet running. So he's got uh, to keep his water. faucet running so it doesn't freeze. Yeah. So, now, what about heat? What type of heat do you have in this thing? Uh, kerosene heater. A kerosene? It, 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 no, it, it's kerosene run furnace. Do you know what? You know what actually might help if if you if you the car you take up a hose to the exhaust pipe, and you hook that up and you put the other <laughs> end of the fucking that trailer would, window and you allow that, that to warm it up for you. <laughs> now, isn't there a danger of carbon monoxide poisoning in in there those trailers? Uh, With the kerosene. Yeah, the, the flume isn't sort of lined up correctly. Yeah, I do. I do sleep well at night. <laughs> Jesus, I get real I drowsy. In the morning, the problem. <laughs> you know what we should do? We got. Can we do cribs before? Uh, we have to do before this weekend. A Pat from Munaki. Are you cribs. home the rest of the week, Pat? Uh, uh. Well, it's kind of slow this week because uh, uh, one of my main customers. Will you let us? Uh, f- will you let us film your place? We haven't done cribs in a while. No cleaning up or anything, you oh, bastard. Oh, I must clean up. No. Can we bring uh, a couple of the guys over there maybe one day this week and do it live on the show? And then we get there... video, then we throw it up on the site. It's a great bit. Are you there Friday? No, Friday we. Uh, Eric Logan was nice enough to give us the yeah, day off. Yeah, we wanted to work, but the boss said no. He said we had a great year and that we should take Friday off. It was very nice of him. Uh, uh, I guess maybe Thursday. 
All right, we'll try to figure something out off the off air. Pat, we got to fly for now. Uh, there's too many people calling in right now. Okay. Can someone ban Sir Bucky? What are you doing? Uh, he's IMing me. What's he? Asking? I gave a strict warning on Pal Talk <laughs> that there will be no IMing me. Is there more than one camera for the show? Uh, Sir Bucky. Bye. Maybe Sir Bucky. Let's let wait. Let me say. Maybe Sir Bucky wasn't there when you gave the order. Since Care. Was, we're getting a. Care. We're going right. to get a bunch of uh, webcams in, for the new year. We will so have multiple cameras. They will be in the office, in the studio. But I said no IMing me, and you IMed me. Fred, bye bye, Sir, Sir Bucky. Sir Bucky made the fucko list. Frenchie. Yeah. What's up, guys? Oh, listen how depressed Frenchie What's wrong, sounds. Frenchie? I'm in California. It's 5.30. I mean, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. 6 in the morning, yes. Uh, Frenchie. Yeah? We went to um, Christmas dinner at uh, your brother's restaurant. I know your brother had, and you had a falling out. He's a fucking asshole. He's a fucking asshole, as he says. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what was the problem? I believe it was just that you are uh, an employee and you didn't like the idea of your brother telling you what to do, even though it's his place and he's your boss. And he just because it was your brother, you decided to uh, mouth off. That's right. I did. And I've been telling everybody that he's a fucking dick. And uh, they had a falling out, big fight. But, uh, uh, again, Frenchie, even though I know it's not you, it's your brother, but, boy, you're cut from the same cloth. Nothing. No little deal, no bottle of wine off or something. He didn't do anything but fucking nothing. Not a nothing. And Anthony brought 20 people Christmas Day. 20 people. Believe you know, me. It I mean, was a nice, ju anyway. nice chunk of change. And I'm incapable of leaving a lousy tip uh, for some reason. I don't know why. I think my mother like put that instilled that in me because she was waitress for so many years. And uh, eh, I, I left a nice tip. Ni nothing. Was he there? Yes, he yeah, was. He was there. Dropped, uh, didn't I didn't, I didn't even it. drop by the table. I saw him when I walked in, shook his hand, didn't even drop by the table. You see, that's why I need my own place. Hey, Frenchie, ask how the service was. I was there. It stunk! <laughs> Are you there, too? It was awful. Who's that? Yes, I was there. Who's that tall, uh, uh, dark uh, woman? Uh, Vanessa. Vanessa. Yeah. She was the only one that was back there for the entire section. We were getting up, going to the champagne cooler and uh, the bottle of wine and pouring it ourselves and walking back to the table. What a fucking That's thing. what I got for, uh, for, for the cash that night, having to self-serve like buffet-style drinks. Might as well have just had a Coke machine there, uh, free refills. Province on uh, McDougal Street. It's a good place to go if you got eight hours to kill. Right. For Thank a snack. You guys. Yes, and you know what? He deserves all the best at this point because I'm not putting my feet back there, that's for sure. Well, when my brother opens his restaurant in, I think, two weeks, there'll be a little something something for the Done fans for. of the show. Right. That's, Why wouldn't that's he what come? You, you got to give him a little something. Why wouldn't he come by and at least say hello to Anthony? Well, come by, see how everything is going. Hey guys, is everything fine? Thank you for the twenty people Christmas Day. Thank you. Right. Well, I don't believe he didn't go there. I mean, usually he does that. I mean, if I would have, would have been there, I would have been there the whole time and taking sure everything. Well, that's a problem too. But uh, you know, just stopping in every so often and saying hi is. Let's say hi to Joe. Joe. Hey, what's up, fellas? Hey. Hey, uh, is Frenchie getting to uh, have a falling out with his brother because they were both arguing over that friggin' funny that they wanted to do? Al Antoine? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> French, just <laughs> pillow <Right>. nibbler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. All right, fellas, peace. Frenchie, uh, so they had, a, they had a good time, but they thought it could have been better. The well, French yeah, yeah. are just known well, to, to just be, be nasty. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they're not, uh, cordial. Uh, they treat Americans like shit. Your brother's a skin flint. Oof. That's a tough He's language. a real pinch penny. That is some tough language Damn you use. Damn chiseler. All right, Frenchie, we're going to let you go. Oh, I agree. There you nice go. Guys, I'm going back to bed. Go That's back That's all right. Thanks for sleep. contributing the norm. All right.